And hello everyone, this is the one and only Sensei Juan again. As you can see, finally, oh, finally made it to playing some Pokemon Sword. I thought I'll get this done before I head to work in like the next few hours. Then I'll try and record what I can before that happens. Now in terms of um, dialogue in this game, I probably won't speak uh, all of it like I did with the yu -Oh! video from before. I'll just have you guys just read it in your own ledger. If I feel the need, I may speak some of it up. But other than that, I'm just looking more to just getting on with the game itself and uh, just tackle some. Oh, not so much tackle, but just share some of my views on it. Whether I make it into a series or not, it would just depend on like what I what I feel like doing. Let's go meet his big brother. Alright, avoid the tall grass for now, since I don't have a Pokemon at the moment. Even though it's Really tipping. Let's see what he has to say. Okay. Let's go find this bro. And then hopefully from there we get our own Pokemon. We're chosen.
Peace, Go Bunny, and Solo. Usually with most Pokemon games, of the, well, the last few, last few that I played, it's quite a long time ago. I usually always end up with a fire type. So for this, I'm choosing Score Bunny. Now I won't give them nicknames. I'd rather have them. With your actual names, just for the purpose of this video. Oh yeah. So we score bunny for you. Nice one. Then I'll go with Grookey, you're mine. I'm aiming to be the next champion, so be ready. You and I'll be doing some serious training. Yeah. I bet you will be hot. That's why I brought along these Pokemon for you and Sensei Juan. So the two of you can battle and train and grow stronger together to try to reach me. And you'll come with me. Charizard will show you the ropes. He's strict but real strong and real kind too. Oh, y'all dinner. Now that I think about it, considering how long Pokemon's been around for, I'm wondering when they're going to start adding an actual voice dialogue for some of these characters. Well, that's one of the f that's one of the few adjustments that they need for this. Well, for most of the po Pokemon games, anyway. And then a few other little add-ons, because this game itself is quite linear. So, in saying that. It is a good game in general, but there could always be more to improve on. Well, let's see, if you trust one another, carry on battling side by side long enough, then someday you might even become worthy rivals for me, the unbeatable champion. What are you looking at him for, Lee? I'm the one who'll be coming to challenge you. You think since everyone not? Oh. Or does he want to go? Yeah, let's do it. What a small battle court. I don't know exactly what to do in order to win. Pokemon battle it is, then I've got two partners. Oh, that's right, he's got two Pokemon. Well, let's just tackle him first. Okay, pick him in the face. I'll use the same move. Check the gear! Perfect. 
Ah, okay, I see. Doesn't use the fire top against the grass type. Then the best effect to use would be Ember. Get a trivial over. Oh no, not yet. Did you already know about type advantages? Yes. Oh, it's got bird damage. Shot, guess I know now why Lee thought he should give you a Pokemon too. Give me the Pokemon all for hard. Maybe we almost want to let our Charizard join in on all the fun. Good effort out there, school buddy. Why don't I get you all sorted? Yeah, yeah. And I already want to get stronger and stronger. You see me better now, Lee. So come on, you gotta let me take on the Pokemon gyms. You join the gym challenge. You think you're ready for the single greatest competition in the Gala region? Not putting the cup for the Rapidash there, little brother. If that's what you want to do, you two have a whole lot you need to learn about Pokemon. Especially friend Sensei Huang. Before you think about getting gym badges, best to think about getting a Pokedex. A trainer's Pokedex helps them learn lots of things about all the Pokemon out there, including their strengths, but most uh, but it's more than just a collection of data. You know, it's a record of a trainer's love and passion for Pokemon training. Right, right, we get it. Pokedexes then, we're on... Okay. So, looks like it's also the Pokemon Research Lab for you, you and me, said Zephyr. That's the kind of enthusiasm and trainer needs. I'll let the professor know what to expect you. I'm going to be the next champion, so... Completing a simple Pokedex will be nothing. Just another page in the tale of my legend. You'd probably better go tell your mum that we're heading out though. Uh, yeah, I will go do that. Uh oh. It's all meh. Meh. Use tackle onto a. onto the friends. Friends? No, fence. Blah. I was tackling the fence pretty hard earlier. You don't think it actually broke through there? Do you? But it's off the limits! Nobody's supposed to go in there. I remember the preface granddaughter went, went in once and she came back in a real state. And that was nothing compared to the airfall she got from the professor afterward. Sensei Juan, what do you say? Oh, we're going in. <laughs> Not thinking things through, we're just going to go in there. Since, since you want to stay there, I'll... Slumbering world. That really, where do you think it got off to? <laughs> Fuckers gonna come out that now. If we don't find that Pokemon soon, this might be trouble. Oh my god, it's a squirt? Let's just shoot fire at its face. Ouch. And tackle. Let's be sure you're in your tip top shape. Oh, sweet. Right, is it another squirt? 
turret. The rook is dead. Now, just to let you all know, I have played this game before, which may have been about a year ago. So, story-wise, I still remember some of it, but in terms of what else happens, yeah, I'll just roll with it. Um, I don't actually find these games pretty hard, but they're quite, they're quite nice to play. I mean, it's it's not your typical Dark Souls. That game ugh, had enough of that game on PS3, finishing it and all that. So it's actually quite nice to um, play something like this. Oh, I could have actually snuck through the bushes. Hear that? Was that a Pokemon crying out, you think? Oh, it's me. Damn it, it saw me. It's creeping through the bushes now. Alright, school buddy, kick it in the face. Hey, ya! Oh no, not tail flip. Cool flip. Defense fell. Okay, we use Ember King. Oh. Well, that squirt is a bit uh, seductive. I'm trying to shake its tail feather. Get out of here. Alright, have a good sleep. We've got a sh we've got a Wooloo to save. So that really might be in real trouble. This is bad, I can't even see my own hand in front of my face. I think I get now why this place is off limits. Ah, it's alright. What in the... I'm not even going to attempt to say that. Oh, okay. Question mark appeared. Shoot some flames in it. Oh. Okay, uh, let's try it again. Well, this is up here. Oh. Since I can't see anything, you okay? Let's just growl at it. Yeah. That move also has no effect. Oh, man, that's bright. You can't see anything. I can just barely see Skull Bunny. Wow. Casually have a nap. Hot, oh, Sensei Juan! What, Lee? How'd you manage to find your way here? Your pants with directions, you always get lost. And that's nice to hear from the little brother who had me worried sick. I'd been waiting ages for you two and you two never showed up. Of course I came looking for the both of you. Wait, where's the Wooloo? We were trying to rescue that Wooloo. Don't 
The little chap's just fine. Though all of you had fainted by the time I found you here. You know this place is out of bounds. But it's a courage to come in here all the same, and I can understand well enough why you did it. You did good, Hop. And at least that Wooloo's alright. Yeah, Sensei Pon? I thought we'd had it when that weird fog started rolling in and that mad Pokemon attacked. But at least it wasn't all for nothing. Attacked by some mad Pokemon? What are you talking about, Hop? It seemed loads stronger than any Pokemon I've ever seen. And it had just it just had this sort of presence. Our moves didn't even touch it. I mean really, they seemed to pass right through it. Your moves pass right through it? So the fearsome Pokemon they say live in the slumbering world. Are they actually illusions or something? Get strong enough and maybe the two of you could be the ones to reveal the truth someday. For now, let's simply get you out of this place. You'll be alright now that I'm here with you. Even if we did get an earful from Lee, what an experience. This will make a pretty fine page in the tale of my legend. Don't forget to tell your mum we're off to Wedgehurst now. She'll go spare if you leave without a word. Even worse than Lee just did. Oh, at least that will lose safe. Oh my god. Uh, follows the mother. Well now, isn't Scorpion just as... <coughs> Actually... Well now, isn't Scorpion just a sweetheart? The news. I heard the news from young Leon. I'm glad someone bothered to tell me. Off to Wedgehurst, aren't you? Here we are, a bit of pocket money for your journey. Buy yourself a little something at the Pokemon Center. Maybe some potions or something. Remember that school buddy will battle to the very end for you. So don't you go pushing the poor dear too hard. Fwah! And you school buddy, look after my little sensei farm. Come on to rest any time that you need. After all, east or west, home is best. Yeah, I'm leaving already. Let's get out of there. <laughs> Alright, to go to the tall grass now, or just straight to the Pokemon Center? Oh, let's see what Hop has to say. Here we go, this is quite the big step, you know. My first step toward becoming the next champion. Guess I'll probably train up Grookey a bit by having a battle against Pokemon in the tall grass. You should get yourself to the building with the purple roof and the great red and white ball mark out on the front. That's the Pokemon Research Lab. Okay. Uh, I'll get the Pokemon... Oh. oh, it wants me to go through the tall grass. Oh. At least be able to squirt it. Squirt it? Squirt it? I think it's pronounced squirt it. Sounds cool. It's squirt it. But not likely that's the name of the Pokemon. Oh, that was a little fun. Uh, let's see. Here's Ember. Since that's the strongest move that Score Buddy's got at the moment. Great, it shook it. It shook its tail feather. I'm weakened by the tail shaking. Oh, thank the heavens. Alright, that's that one done. Couple of game experience points, screw money screw to level 8. Oh, you learn quick attack. Nice. Oh, let's just ignore her. You found a potion. I want that. Paralyze heal. And then just keep running. Let's get the whistle thing going on. There goes Elise Charizard. And 
this is where we want to go. Well done. We reached the goal and managed to find the Pokemon Research Lab. We did a far sight better than I did my first time. I'm hopeless with directions. See how your world has already grown? All thanks to having Pokemon with you. I know I'm sure glad I've got Charizard with me. To keep me from getting lost all the time. Now in we go. Rawr. Got to give it to Professor Magnolia. Everything in here looks fascinating. The walk? What is it today, Leon? Oh. <clears throat> Looking for info on another level before seeing super strong Pokemon? I wish you'd stop with these outlandish requests. Good to see you too, Yamber. Yamber here is a real champ when it comes to helping you find your way around. Came to my rescue plenty of times back in the day when I got lost on the road. Oh yeah, and that's his trainer. No, trainer? Trainer! Sonia. What can I say about Sonia? Well, I like the way she cooks. You have the same mindset as me, Leon. She makes food you can gobble down in a flash. <laughs> what kind of an introduction is that? Did you forget we were rivals during our gym challenge? It wasn't just here by helping you out. I did too. Anyway, nice to meet you. Name's Sonia. I'm the professor's assistant. This is Sensei Juan. He's a new Pokemon trainer. Set him on the right path, would you? Yeah, but don't lift that leg. <laughs> I'll have to find a Hydra. What does he think I am? He's always got his head in the clouds. It's no wonder he gets lost all the time. Oh, looks like you've got a Rotom phone. Hey there, Rotom. Burst. Rotom phones are handy little things, aren't they? They've got a map and a navigation too. That's it. Leon still gets lost, so... Oh, sorry. So tell me, do you know... A lot about Pokemon. You bet. Well said. In that case, I'm making sure that you can use the Pokedex on your Rotom phone. Just so you know, that Pokedex is a gift from my grand. Did you let Grand know that you received the Pokedex? She lives in the house that alone. Well, too. Oh, okay. I'm glad I have to stop using that voice for a bit. Now that I think about it, <laughs> that voice is very close to the gingerbread man on, on the Shrek movies. Finally goes, Do you know the Muffin Man? Hey there, trainer. Sorry to stop you. You just left the Pokemon Lab, right? So that means you've got a Pokédex, yeah? I love talking to new trainers to give them useful stuff. You obtained a potion. It's a potion. Use it when your Pokémon's HP, their hit points get slow. HP is like a Pokémon's stamina. You can even use potions during battle. Knowledge is power. It's a good idea to talk to lots of different people and read everything you can on your journey. That was the most random interaction ever. But I'll roll with it. Uh, let's see, Hot's up there. I think. We shall save it from there. I 
then I'll be back with part two afterwards.